Welcome back. House Republicans are trying again to break the deadlock over electing a new Speaker of the House. Ohio lawmaker Jim Jordan addressed reporters this morning in the middle of the chaos, saying he intends to continue fighting for the position. Natalie Brand has the latest from Washington. The reading clerk will now call the roll. House Republicans are holding a third vote to elect a speaker, with Ohio Congressman Jim Jordan making it clear he's not dropping out of the race. We need to get to work for the American people. In a news conference ahead of the vote, Jordan said he would not back down, even after losing back-to-back -back ballots this week. We need to help Israel. We need to get the appropriations process moving so that the key elements of our government are funded and funded in the right way, particularly our military. On Thursday night, he held closed-door meetings with GOP members still opposed to his candidacy, a list that has grown to more than 20. This guy refuses to lose, and that's okay. I, I find that to be very good, but at there's some point that we're going to have to move forward, and we can't keep the country shut down. In the meantime, Congress cannot take action on President Biden's request for security assistance for Israel and Ukraine and the U.S. budget. A government shutdown is looming in less than a month. We need to get the House open so we can evaluate the package. We can't do that, can't vote on that, can't pass anything in that uh, until we get the House open. House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries urged Republicans to find a bipartisan path forward. Members are on notice to stick around through the weekend to be available to vote. Uh, Congressman Jordan is already on track to lose his third bid for speaker.